I feel great. Um, I woke up super, super early without an alarm, so um, I knew I was ready. Um, I think I played pretty well. Um, obviously, I jumped off sides and that led to a big play. So some things I got to tighten up on, but I think it was a good start from the first. You made up with the sack, it feels great um, for a person with three and a half career sacks to come out with two after a year and a half off. Uh, it was great. So, um, no, nah, it was just about me, you know, proving Coach Dre right and him bringing me here and uh, just being thankful to be on the field again and having fun. What changed with Burrow as the game went on? It kind of felt like he was standing back there. He was a lot more mobile maybe earlier in the first quarter. Like, with the pass rush getting home to him, do you think that you guys were affecting him that way? Yeah, I mean, Nick started off the game with a sack, and then I think Harrison or somebody else got a sack. So, I mean, anytime you know you get start, start getting pressure on the quarterback, and then um, you know tendencies change. But I don't know if they were looking for more down the field. Uh, we gave up some big plays, so um, you know everybody's got to work together. But I don't know if that you know how he was reacting to that or not. You brought up that fourth down offside. How much do you think you're going to be thinking about that moving forward? Run that back by one more time. You had brought up the fourth down offside, or excuse me, not fourth down, but you had jumped outside before mm -hmm. that. Yeah, you always think about the plays that, you know, lead to big plays. And um, that's something I, I've jumped off sides one time in my career, and that was my rookie year. So uh, I think somebody asked me about that in an interview uh, last week, actually. I told somebody, you move when the center moves. So did not do a good job of that. So, um, no, nah, I'll be thinking about that a lot, and, um, you know, that led to a big play. So uh, some stuff we all got to work on, and that's that's definitely on me. Seemed like Burrow kind of they were kind of just picking their spots, but they hit you deep a couple of times, got the pass interference penalty. Is that something to kind of clean up moving forward and limit that? Yeah, I mean, we all got to clean up stuff. They ran for like 120 yards. So, um, like I said, they brought me in to help stop the run along with Dalvin and everybody else. So, um, you know, that was our first time, everybody getting out together. And uh, we did some good things, but also, you know, we gave up too many big plays in the run and in the pass. So, um, everybody just had to work together, and we got some work to do when we get back to the film room. Michael, with the run, what did you feel like changed throughout the game as they started to have a little more success there in the second half? Uh, I don't know, really. Um, you know, we gave up one long one on the sideline. Uh, but I think in the first half, we were doing well. Um, I don't, I'm not sure. I haven't really looked at the film. But, um, you know, sometimes it's blitzes and they hit the opposite side. You never know exactly. But uh, I think Coach Zim will be able to answer that. But, um, you know, we just can't have those, those miscues. And, uh, you know, we got to bottle that up to if we want to win. Are losses like this tougher? Because this one was like right there. Then maybe then instead of like a blowout, like how, how do you move forward from something like this on, on going into week two? Uh, I think it makes me more eager to get to week two to get the taste out of our mouth. So um, now this is a it's a gut wrenching loss. Um, it's definitely plays on both sides that we think we need to have back. Got to clean up penalties and stuff like that. But um, you know they're a good young team. But I feel like we gave this one away, and uh, you just got to go hard at practice and you know. You know, watch the film, take your butt chewing like a man, and keep it moving. Able to stop the fourth and short, kind of swing momentum back toward the Vikings, but then the fourth and one is there in the overtime. Just how tough does it play like that? When the, it's like fourth and inches, and then they get the tight end on the drive. Oh, man. Yeah, that's tough, man. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of in the middle of everything. I don't know how that went down exactly, but, um, you know. That's when they look for those trick plays. It's just got to be more, you know, obviously more locked in. Uh, everybody has to be on their assignment. So, um, you know, that's something they probably drew up and they worked on in camp and stuff. And uh, it's unfortunate that they converted. But, um, like I said, if they wouldn't have got down the field, that wouldn't have happened. So, um, you can take a, you know, a negative out of a lot of different things. But, like I said, it's about play after play after play. So, um, no, nah, that was a great call by them, great execution, and uh, we got to clean it up. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, he's, he's had great success uh, with quarterback sneaks. So, um, you know, as, as my job as a nose, I was in the zero. So I just wanted to get as much uh, not back as I could. But when they run a pass and, you know, dude ends up open, there's not too much you can do in that situation. But like I said, it shouldn't have came down to that. So You know what the tell was on that? Zim said you guys ran that play. I guess that he had seen it on film and you guys had run that play in camp before. Was it? Is there something that you noticed? right away or uh not really um uh, like i said i was more so worried about the sneak and then you know you turn around and dude's wide open so like i said if it doesn't come down to four from one we don't have these conversation but um you know like i said we all got plays we need to take back and we all got stuff to work on so that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna live with michael what's going through your mind whenever they go for it on, on fourth down at their 30 in the third quarter they're up two scores i mean how surprised were you what's going through your mind at that point uh 
They're testing your manhood. So you just got to respond. It's a football game. I don't really care, you know, what quarter it is or how how much they're up. Um, they think they can, you know, man on man, they can beat you. So um, it's our job to win those matchups and, you know, prove them that, you know, we are the best – we the best on the field. So, uh, like I said, we gave up too many big plays, obviously, to win the game today. And, uh, yeah, we just got a lot to work on. And thank God we got a game in six days, seven days. Michael, how do you feel like it came together with just a lot of different people lining up in a lot of different places on the defensive line today? I think it came out well. So, like, you know, you know, obviously we lost. But especially like in the first half, after we gave up those, those two drives and those two big plays, we settled down. Everybody got back to doing what they need to do. So um, it's just about stringing those drives together over and over and over and over again for four quarters. And, um, you know, we didn't do that today. Uh, we put some good things on film, but also some bad things on film. So, um, you know, it's about stringing those drives together. And, um, you know, Arizona has very explosive receivers. So we got to get to Kyler Murray and, you know, stop the run, obviously. And, you know, keep help our DBs with DeAndre Hopkins and AJ Green because that's, that's probably a mess. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.